Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Red Wolf, and I'm sort of new to this whole Let's Play Twitch YouTube thing, so here is one of my first playthroughs. Thanks, I hope you enjoy it. Harry Potter, a Hogwarts mystery. Now, I've tried to um delete my previous account and try to play it from scratch, or I mean to start over to play it for Twitch, but like it wouldn't let me. I like disconnected my Facebook account to the game or whatever but it wouldn't let me so we're just gonna have to play where I left off and thankfully I'm still in year one because I think this is like the, my second playthrough or whatever like my first playthrough I think I like accidentally deleted the app anyways not important um so as being a big potterhead that I am I am in Slytherin and of course our character you know, had to be in Slytherin. So, her name is uh, Luna Silver because, I don't know, I I guess I was unoriginal and uncreative at the time. So, yeah, she's got blue hair. She's, uh, she's got seven house points so far for Slytherin. We're in third place, so that's pretty fucking bad. Um, Courage, we're in level two. Uh, empathy level two and knowledge of, of, of level two. So we're pretty good with that so far. I mean, I feel like empathy shouldn't be level two as well. Cause I mean, we are in Slytherin. Maybe we're not, I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want people to be just, I like, I wouldn't want her empathy level to be just as high as her other level. Neither should be courage, right? Well, I mean, I guess it should be knowledge mostly. But anyways, um, without further ado, let's get into it. So I think we left off in the flying uh, class, if I'm not mistaken. Or let's see, it's been a while since I played this game, so. Um, and like our brother apparently, like if you guys are familiar with this game, um, you create your character and then you start from Hogwarts year one. Um, and then you're, uh, apparently whoever you create in whatever house you end up in, your, um, your brother was, like, a previous, uh, student at Hogwarts, and, like, he caused some troubles and, like, found, found some vaults or some shit, and, like, everybody, so you get the, you got, you're, like, your character is a bad reputation no matter if you're, no matter who you are, what character you make up for the game. You just have a bad reputation, like, oh, that's she's going to be a troublemaker because her brother was also a troublemaker kind of thing, and then you just take it from there. But anyways, like I said, we're year one, chapter four. Um, Snape hates us, even though we're in his fucking house. Um, I feel some, some type of way about that because Snape was always my favorite character in the books and movies. Um, all right. Yeah, we're in the training ground, so... Yeah, we do have to do a flying class. Or report to Felix. That's what we have to do. Who the fuck is Felix? I don't remember. That's our friend. Um, I also forgot her name. Rowan. Okay. Why do you think our prefect wants to meet with us in the training grounds? Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if Marula... Marula, by the way, is... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce her fucking name. But, um, Marula is, um, whatchamacallit, she is, uh, I can't move the fucking, I just realized that I'm covering the fucking dialogue, but, um, I had to download this thing to mirror, um, my phone to the thing because the sound, like, it, it's so complicated. <laughs> I literally couldn't really fix the sound, so I kind of ghetto, ghetto rigged it or whatever. But, um, yeah, I have this stupid, like, time thing that I'm trying to cover, like, the timestamp for the, um, uh, for, like, whenever you mirror the thing. Not for the game, but, like, whenever you mirror your, uh, screen on your, on my computer, whether it be my iPhone or my iPad. So I'm trying to cover that up. But if I, like, bring my camera down, it's still covering the dialogue. So, whatever. Anyways. I wouldn't be surprised if Marula somehow got us kicked out of Slytherin. Oh, God. By the way, Marula's this fucking bully that we have to deal with. Like, 
I just kind of want to punch her fucking lights out because, like, this girl was pissing me off when I started this. All right. Do you want to talk about what she said about your brother? If I say yes, I get empathy points. I want to say no because being the me that I am, I don't want to talk about shit feelings like that. I don't have a brother, but, like, I would imagine if I was in her shoes. I'm going to play this character like I would play myself. So, no. Not really. I mean, you already know most of the story from the Daily Prophet. My brother was obsessed with the idea that there was a cursed vaults containing mysterious treasures hidden at Hogwarts. I mean, you never know. Like, Hogwarts is such, like, it's such a mysterious castle, right? Like, you got um, uh, the rumor requirement. Is that the one with the secret door? Um, yeah, I think. Or, like, this, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I am a huge Harry Potter fan, I swear. I just, my brain just goes, pfft, sometimes. But no one believed him. Not even our mom. Yeah, that sounds about right. He broke all kinds of rules and put people in danger while trying to prove that he was right. I'm sorry, there's more to it, but... I'd really rather not even think about it right now. God, I'm just going to lay this down like this because it's really hard to read. All right. Ooh. Mmm. I understand, Luna. You tell me when you're ready. What a great friend we have. Thanks, Rowan. Marula, how, who fucking names their kid Marula? Like, I know J.K. Rowan is all about, like, getting some uh, stranger names or whatever, but, like, Marula, for real, who named that? I doubt J.K. Rowan had a play in this, had really that much bigger role in play, in making this game. Marula will keep act attacking us until we do something to stop her. How about we defend ourselves? Yeah. Mm. Hmm. There's Felix, our fucking prefect. Um... That's exactly why I invited you here, Luna. You know about what happened with Marula? I love my face, just like, or my character's face, just like, eh. Or travels fast at Hogwarts. I wouldn't be doing my job as prefect if I didn't help teach you to defend yourself. Mm. I mean, that's, that's very nice, even for our Slytherin prefects. Thank you. Even if you insist on fighting someone from our own house. Hey, listen. She bullied me. She came after me. She cast Flipendo on our ass. I'm going to teach you how to duel. All right. But we don't know any dueling spells. Well, I mean, you're fucking, like, you literally just started year one. Slytherins keep a secret dueling book hidden in the artifact room. It will teach you various spells, potions, and techniques. Meet me again after you learn a dueling spell, and I'll teach you everything else you need to know. Wait, so you're not going to teach us the first dueling spell? That's very helpful. Alright. Find a dueling book. Alright, let's go find this book, you guys. That's very helpful. I'll teach you how to duel. No, no, no. Go, 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 go like, uh... Uh, learn your first uh, spell to duel, and then I'll teach you the rest. I won't teach you the basics. Just you gotta go learn that by yourself. I'm out of juice. Also, this loading screen is like taking forever. Seriously? I honestly never <laughs> remember those games taking this long. Like, come on. Oh, there we go. Alright, I got multiple things to do. Find a dueling book. 
wig wig and weld potion. Alright, I need to do that. Um what's in the corridor? Why do I have multiple things to do? Oh, we also befriended this guy named Van Cooper. He's a Gryffindor. And I know what you're gonna say, like Gryffindor and Slytherins are not supposed to get along. Yes we do. And our other friend is actually an Hufflepuff, believe it or not. Bill Weasley. Oh yeah, this is the same time so this is like back before Harry went to Hogwarts. Like this was the time that Tongs was still it was a time after his parents went to Hogwarts, but like when Tongs was uh, uh still a student. Yeah, of course she's a fucking uh, Hufflepuff. She's so weird. Why are Hufflepuffs always so weird? That's like the weird house. I know with like f you know Fantastic Beasts coming out and stuff, like everybody's just like Oh my god, Hufflepuffs rule! Like, Hufflepuffs are weird, man. Alright, let's go to the courtyard. Um, meet Hagrid! Ooh, well, let's meet Hagrid. I like Hagrid. Oh, shit. You know what's more um, you know what's more amazing than pets? Dragons. You know what's more amazing than dragons? Nothing. <laughs> Alright, Charlie. You got a dragon thing. You got way with animals, Luna. If you're free, I like to talk to you about owning magical pets. Oh, yes. Sorry, my fucking Hagrid accent. Ah. Ah! <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> I remember like reading the books as a child and like always like just like kind of squinting at like whenever there was like Hagrid dialogue. I'm just like what? Like I was perfectly fine with reading everything else but like even like the fucking you know like potion words and you know all this like ingredient stuff but like when Hagrid's dialogue came I'm just always like huh? I can tell you have a way with animals and creatures, Luna. Thanks, Hagrid. Have you ever considered getting a pet that's a bit more magical? Maybe a crup or a measle. What? Man, I'm supposed to be a huge fan and I'm a huge Potterhead. I don't know what any of these fucking things are. Aren't those unauthorized? Ah! Ha! <laughs> you just have to you just have to be subtle subtle and discreet like me, Luna. I can't do it. I'm trying to fucking talk like that word. I would love to have my own magical creature. Where can I oh that's me. I would love to have my own magical creature. Where can I get one? Just head back to the Slytherin Slither common room. <laughs> I love how there's no dialogue, but like just little fucking, uh, there's just little, uh, noises that the characters make every now and then. Ah, uh, don't forget to introduce your new magical pet, pet ter, pet ter me and Fang. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, Hagrid's dialogue always fucking cracks me up and messes me up. Woof. Should we play the, yeah, let's just go play with gobstones, like, why not, you know? Kill two birds with one stone, I guess, since we're here. I, I thought this, okay, never mind. Let's go find the duel and go. It brought us back here, so I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> Growing. They say untold treasures lies within the artifact room. Along with untold odors, ew. <laughs> My fucking face. Let's hurry up and find that dueling book. I'll get the urge to catalog every. I'll fight the urge to catalog every single amazing thing in this room. I'll probably fail, but at least I'm good at multitasking. I swear to God, Rowan, why are you, like, 
I think that if you're a girl, your your best friend is Rowan. Um, I don't. I I think that if you're a guy, like your best friend would be Ben, and then Rowan. I don't know. I think the other characters are pretty much the same. But um, Rowan gets mm -hmm. in your house, wherever house you like, you belong to, because you get to pick your own house. You don't go through a test. Um, so whatever house you pick, Rowan's also in your house. I know because this is like my my second time through, and like. Again, you know, first, obviously, I'm going to pick Slytherin. Mm -hmm. But um, she's such, she's definitely a Ravenclaw. Like, either a Ravenclaw or a Gryffindor, but she's mm -hmm. more towards a Ravenclaw. Luna. Oh, that's a mysterious voice. I don't have a mic. Luna. What? Hmm? Huh? What what? You said my name. No, I didn't. I heard a voice. Hmm. It wasn't me. It must have been my imagination. Let's just find that book. Ooh. No, I don't want to meet Hagrid right now. Like, we gotta find the book. Oh, like, another thing about this game, um, when you run out of, like, energy or whatever, you have to wait a couple of hours. It's probably not a good game um, to do a live on. Look at us. Go us. I found the book. <laughs> Fucking laughter. Brilliant. Now we can learn a dueling spell so our prefect can train us to stand up to Marula. Ah! That was a horrible scream. But I'm not really going to scream that out. Um. Luna, are you alright? No, I just fucking, there's smoke in my eyeballs. I can't see. Somebody farted in my eyes. I saw something in my mind. Oh, that was in your mind, not your eyeballs. A walking suit of armor. A staircase shrouded in mist. Ice and casting Hogwarts. Spreading faster and faster. All I saw was fucking smoke. Girl, what the hell are you, like, speaking of smoke, what kind of shit are you smoking? Hmm. Ice? And I heard the voice again. It said, the ice is here. The vault will open. Hmm. Ma'am, I guess we're just as crazy as our brother. Maybe you should feel finish telling me everything you know about your brother and the curse, curse vault, Selena. Let's just get back to the Slytherin common room and get some sleep. You need help. You need Jesus, Luna. Okay. Let's go back to the common room and it's all gonna be good. Ooh! Let's stop it. I'm just kidding, that's not really Dobby, I wish. I'm so sad. <laughs> Should we do our potions exam? I mean, there's nobody there, it looks like. Let's go to potions. Watch Snape be a complete asshole to us again, even though we're in his house. There will be no foolish wand waving in this class. That makes me sad. 
because it's not Alan Rickman voicing it, and like this game was after Alan Rickman passed, and that makes me sad. This fucking expression, just pure boredom. All right. Given the story state of your previous attempts, today we will be revealing how to brew the cure for boils. I don't know why that's my Snape voice, but apparently that's my fucking Snape voice. No wow. disrespect. <laughs> the character or Alan Rickman. Bless his soul. <clears throat> Fuck me. Learn this now so you don't have come so you don't come crying to me in a few years on the night of the boil. Also, I can't do a British accent, so, like, that growl, though, goddamn, Snape, like, relax. It's good, it's okay, like, I know you need a hug. He just needs a hug, you guys. Snape is very misunderstood. Like, you know, Lily left him, and he's just, he's just got cock-blocked by James. I suggest you listen closely. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> I keep forgetting to do my voices for these. I suggest you listen closely to my lecture on the cure for boils because I won't be answering any silly questions. I don't know why there's a pause after every word, but apparently, fuck. That's the channel, like, that's the voice I'm channeling for him, okay? I bet you if <laughs> this was a random character game, nobody would feel some type of way. Now we're done. That was short-lived. All right, we'll be back for part two later on this evening. Um, yeah, we'll be back. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, I hope you all are doing great. Like I said, we'll be back again to continue on Harry Potter, A Hogwarts Mystery. All right. Bye, everybody. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching.